Dan Abbott. I'm making this video for my parametric modeling class at Southern Maine Community College. This is a short video about configuration tables. I have another video on how to create them. However, there was a change in the behavior of the tables that took place in the current release of SolidWorks that appears to me, initially appeared to me to be a glitch. But I want to show you what it is and why I can, was confused by it and what you can do to fix it. So if you want to make a configuration table, you can go ahead and turn on all the dimensions and then you take any one of those dimensions, select it, right click, and then you can select it, right click, and go to configure dimension. It creates a configuration table with that dimension. Double click on any other dimension, it puts it in there for you. You want to make something that's new. Um, you put a name for what you want that configuration to be. You go over here and you set a different number for each of the dimensions. And when you're done, you give it a name. And then save the result. You just pick OK and come back out. Now when you go over to configurations, you have two configurations. And they modify by doing this. When you go back to the table and right click and then say show table, it opens up and everything is there. Um, everything looks good, no problem with it at all. Now, when I go and save this, however, I'll just do a quick save as. When I save this, and then close the drawing, and then go back and open it up again, Now if I go to the configuration table and do the same thing, right click show table, it opens up, it's only got one column showing. Well, I'm going to show this, this as a problem with a different file. So here is a file that is a metric nut, flange and not flange, and as far as configurations go, those are all the configurations generated by this. This is by a student in class in the configuration assignment. So you can go and pick any configuration and it works fine. But once you save the drawing and open it up again, when you go to show table, it's still, it only has that one column. However, there's a button right here called all parameters. And if you select it, initially it doesn't look like it does anything, but you pick it twice. Now it opens up and that shows you every one of the parameters used to make this. So the issue before was, how do you go back, open the table and add a size that you overlooked? couldn't do it unless you open this thing up. In the past, showing the table, whether you saved it and opened it or not, in the past would show that to you. So now I can go down here and I could add a new version of that and then go on from there. Now once I pick OK and come back out, I go back over to metric nut show table again. It's right back to this. So every time you want to use the table once you have saved it, and you do have to give it a name and save it, whether you, if when you're creating it, it seems to work fine. But once you've opened it, after saving it, the behavior goes down to requiring that you pick the all, all parameters. And you can't just pick it once. You have to pick it twice. I got help on this one. It's the first time I've ever called technical support from our vendor. They had to figure this out for me.